back to the PBA League. That's a pretty big uh, bowling bat, if I should say so myself. Walter Ray Williams, the greatest of all time, taking in the action here at Thunder Bowl Lanes in Allen Park, Michigan. Time for PBA League Trios competition. Tommy Jones, Dom Barrett, Wes Vallott. Jones will lead off, bowl the 4th, 7th, and 10th. Barrett will bowl 2nd, 5th, and 8th. And Wes Vallott picks up the rest of the frames. In trios, you bowl your own frame. So you pick up mm -hmm. your own spares. And Tommy Jones, head to toe in purple for the Silver Lake Atom Splitters. We'll begin our trios for one point. Match even at one and one. That's most of them. Two, four, and the Quality 10. Quality efforts there. And did you mention that Tommy, being the leadoff bowler, will also finish the 10th frame? Yes, indeed. So that's interesting as the, you both finish and begin in trios. What a great shot. $2, Oscar. Great conversion. 2 4 10. Tommy Jones made it look easy. Rhino Page up for the Dallas Strikers. And he hits the pocket, drills 10 back. Rhino Page, Amleno Monticelli, Dave Watka in that order. You can see the frames the players are going to bowl in. Amleto, the ageless one from Barqui Cemento, Venezuela, gets up on the left lane. Mike J, this guy is in redonkulous shape. Hall of Fame style. And he gets wide on the first shot, and it's a 2-10. 52 years of age. Boy, and the only thing giving that away is the, the grays in his hair. This style hasn't changed much over the years, and him being in such great physical shape certainly has aided in that. He puts a lot of torque and a lot of strain and stress on his body. With that style, that big open hand style, he's got to use his legs a lot as well. Up comes Dom Barrett, a man who won his first major a little over two months ago. Barrett, the number one seed at the PBA World Championship in Las Vegas, where he met up with former Player of the Year Sean Rash in the final. But Rash would make a costly mistake, one that would prove fatal. Barrett needed a double and eight pins in the tenth to shut Rash out. And Dom delivered, striking out to take home the World Championship trophy to England. Yeah! Strike for Silver Lake. Heavy-handed Dom Barrett has really come into his own, winning at the World Championship, finishing third at the Tournament of Champions. Why all the jokes got to come out now? Here's Big West Malad. West splits the eight and nine. All Double. the jokes, huh? Where are the jokies? <laughs> you do that pretty well there, folks. <laughs> Down on that one. <laughs> West Malott's had a pretty solid start to the year and a great 2013 as well as you take a look at that ball reaction. West finishing runner up at the Tournament of Champions. Dave Watka, PBA Tour Titleist, up in the third for Dallas. Back is wide, two in the eight. 
Watka acquired in the PBA League draft this year after leaving the LAX. Fair for Dallas. Right. Come on now. Let's go. Come on, guys. Boy, right there. Right. So both teams have gone through the order once, and top of the order once again. Rhino Page up for Dallas. Page struck back in the first, the only striker in trios. With a strike thus far, fourth frame. Dallas trails by 22. Page, two strikes. Remember, folks, Rhino Page is coming off of wrist surgery. He's throwing a 14-pound ball. But we have a tour truck out here that hauls all the equipment from all the different manufacturers. There's no 14-pound pound equipment on that truck. It's all 15s and 16s. Rhino Page has to have his manufacturer send him 14-pound balls specifically for him to this event. Jones looking to extend the lead for Silver Lake, and clears the deck. Tommy Jones, Turkey in trios for the Silver Lake Adam Splitters. Well, much better than the first time he was up when he went 2-4-10. That ball just absolutely peeled the 1-3 pocket. This is going to be a 10-pin party in the pit. Watch this. Bam. Silver Lake with the early advantage, but can increase it with Dom Barrett. Light, and the 10 pin stands. And there's the slicker characteristics of the left lane. Even with Dom Barrett's heavy hand, he couldn't get that one to face up. Bear for Barrett. Back over to Amleto Monticelli, 19-time winner on the PBA Tour, two-time PBA Player of the Year. Voted the 21st greatest player in PBA history. Still going strong out on the PBA 50 circuit. He was the Rookie of the Year out there in 2012. Dallas with an opportunity to double. Trouble for Dallas in this trios match halfway through. They haven't thrown a double yet. They haven't opened, and they're trailing by 31 pins. However, let's not forget what happened in the doubles match. It's kind of the same scenario early on. Spare for Monticelli, and Silver Lake is plus 31. This match is tied at one and one. One point for trios. Our three-point Baker team five-player game is next. The winner advances to the semifinal. The loser is eliminated from PBA League competition. Watka for Dallas, sixth frame. Well, Watka went light on the right lane, Mike, and then he steps up on the slick left lane and Boy, the writing was almost uh, plain and simple on the wall in front of us. Kind of had a feeling he was going to go light on this lane, and he did. Right. Spare for Dallas. Can they do what they accomplished in doubles and find a way to eke out a victory? But to this point, it's been Silver Lake putting together a turkey in trios competition. We'll have the remainder of this trios game next. We'll return to the PBA League. PBA League is in session here at Thunderbolt Lanes in Allen Park, Michigan. Mike Jakubowski along with Hall of Famer Randy Peterson and Kimberly Pressler. Let's meet the owner of the Dallas Strikers. And even if you're the most casual of sports fans, you still know this man, NFL great and future Hall of Famer Terrell Owens. 
There's very little T.O. failed to accomplish in his spectacular career. Six Pro Bowls, named to the 2000s All-Decade team, and the only player to have scored at least two touchdowns against every team in the NFL. Truly one of the all-time greats. Not a bad bowler in his own right either. Terrell Owens loves bowling and loves the PBA, and we're thankful to have him. And another strike. Turkey put together. That's a three-bagger. Back to our trios match. The Silver Lake Adam Splitters up by 32 as Wes Malott steps up to the line. Wes with a strike his first time up back in the third. High flash. Uh, you, this is not looking good for the Dallas Strikers. We are bowling in the trios discipline. Three bowlers per team. They rotate through and bowl their own frames. Player one, that's Jones. He bowls the first, the fourth, the seventh, and the tenth. And the leadoff bowler also bowls and completes the tenth frame. Now Jones up in the seventh as well, looking for the double. Shakes it. lane stinks. Four eight. Sam, you do this lane? Four, eight. Tommy Jones not happy oh. with the left lane. Twice I did it. He Hex explains a lot. First time on that left lane. Remember Tommy Jones left I know the two I'm only getting 10. one of these, so I know. Don't worry. But he was able to convert. <laughs> this time light again. Good news is Tommy gets to finish the 10th frame on the right lane. <laughs> Tommy Woo! drills that spare eight-time member of Team USA. So Tommy knows how to operate in a team I like environment. That one. I wouldn't like that. <laughs> Rhino Page knows Team USA as well. Remember there from 2004 to 2010. Rhino also a first team All-American at Kansas back in the 4-5 season. Six bit. Yeah. Well, Rhino Page is the only bright spot for the Dallas Strikers. He's the only player that has actually thrown strikes for that team. And, and this one here just drifts a little bit high. You could hear him say go. And, that usually means the ball is inside a target. Rhino fortunate only to leave the six pin, eight pin falling late. Right, bud. Come on. Come on. Come on. Uh, I got throw it better now. Back to Monticelli. Match is even at one and one. That was the old tire for a shot. Point here to be earned. And three points coming up in our Team Baker five player game coming up next. Eighth frame. Strike for Monticelli. That away, Amleto. Good shot there. Something to get his team jump started. They can strike out for 216. Right now, the Adam splitters are going at a 219 pace. Don Barrett has his share of team competition experience as well. He's part of the 2009, 10, and 13 Weber Cup champions. Annual competition between European and American teams. And a strike for Don Barrett. Mark Baker managing the club owned by Chris Hardwick. Mark's got four PBA titles, 26 career television appearances, and the 1985 George Young High Average winner. Well, you got to get it to hook. Mark did finish second in the Tournament of Champions one year, unable to compete anymore due to a bad back. But you know, back in Mark's heyday, there weren't too many that outhooked Mark Baker. And we didn't have these bowling balls back in Mark Baker's heyday. I mean, he was out hooking a lot of people with your thing. Yeah, that's pretty good for me. Mark Baker could strike with the best of them back then. Spare for Silver Lake and now opportunity for Dallas. They've got a strike working. They can still shoot 216. And 
10 almost eclipsed, but it stands. Not going to get it done that way. Not when you're trailing by 30 plus pins. Dave Walker really needed that hit there. And unfortunately, Dallas Strikers, they've all but run out of time. Jesus. All right. Mathematically over. Inside a target and the whiff. Page trips the six forward. I wonder if that 14 pounder had anything to do with tripping that six. Promise you another pound or two, and he probably leaves it. Norm has got to rally the troops, Mike, and figure something out for the team event because that's what's going to get them to the next round. Maybe Norm needs to hire a manager. <laughs> could turn around and see who's available out there. The commissioner might be able to authorize such a transaction. More importantly, Silver Lake will earn a point here and go up 2-1, meaning that either a win or a tie in the team would advance them to the semifinal. A little extra knowledge for Dallas as Silver Lake will finish up here in the 10th and will go up 2-1. Pretty good strategy here. Brian Smith coming in for Tommy Jones and get getting Brian ready for the team event portion of this match. Ooh, that hurt. It's been sitting for a while, hasn't thrown a shot in a bit. He needs a little bit of practice and warm up. Oh. All right, nice shot. He gets another shot now in the 10th frame. Given that wrist, they're working over, and he'll pull out another ball. There's always several options when you have an option in the 10th frame. What are you doing when you pick out another piece of equipment? You're just testing the waters. You're trying to find the right ball, ball for the uh, oil pattern, and that's what Brian Smith's doing here. He's going to give another look at another piece of equipment to see if he likes it better. Anything you can do to try to match up better with the oil pattern. So 213-184 winner for Silver Lake, the Adam Splitters. Go up 2-1, and with a tie or a win in team, they will advance to the semifinals. Team for three points coming next in the PBA League. PBA League, LAX, and New York City WTT Kingpins have already advanced to the semifinals. The winner here, Dallas and Silver Lake, will advance to one side of the semifinal bracket and get the winner of Pittsburgh and Philadelphia. That quarterfinal yet to come. Mike Jakubowski with PBA Hall of Famer Randy Peterson. And Randy, the blue oil, a lot of folks are talking about it on Facebook and Twitter. And now we get to see it and experience it and learn from it as we get to see what happens to the oil as we move along in a competition. It's really fascinating to look at. Yeah, it's great for the viewers. They get to see the oil transitioning throughout each game. On the left, fresh oil. On the right, this is what it looks like after the trios. Remember when we looked at this after the singles match? There was no marks left of third arrow. When the big power guys came in, Dom Barrett, Tommy Jones, and Wes Malott, you can see how much more of the oil has been touched up there left of that fourth arrow. You, you see balls being laid down right now at about the 25th board. So, I mean, this is a great tool to use to show the viewers just how the oil transitions. And a lot of it has to do with who's bowling on it. 
And bowling fans like to talk oil, and they also like to talk about the dynamics of the game, and I think it's about time we get into some track tech talk. Absolutely. And you know, this time conversation is all about ball roll, roll versus side turn. Chris Barnes is a roller. Look at his hand position as he releases the bowling ball. Fingers up the back of the ball. This controls down lane reaction. Look how straight that ball is going down the lane and how subtle the change of direction is. Wes Malott, other end of the spectrum. Look at that hand. You can actually see his thumb on the outside of the ball. This is called side turn. Now watch what this does in terms of reaction. There's more angle going to the right, therefore creating more angle into the pocket. He creates much more of an angle. Chris Barnes much more of a down and in kind of player. Which one is better? Depends on what oil pattern you're bowling on. And a great look at that via Track Tech Talk. And Kimberly Pressler is laneside with this report. Thanks, Mike. Rhino, you guys just lost, but you're still in the game. What do you need to do to bounce back to take this win? Just take one shot at a time. You know, we, we've got two frames of bowl. we got to give it our best two shots that we have in our bag. Well, you, Tommy, you just heard what uh, the Dallas Strikers have in mind coming up for this team match. What do you guys have as a strategy? Well, you know, we pulled together quite a bit around the world and everything, and uh, we're all good friends, so uh, I think that's going to work to our advantage. Maybe we'll do a little more talking and uh, hopefully go rely on one of our coaches and our manager and see if we can't get lined up and take this thing home. All right. Well, good luck to you both. Guys, back to you. When we return, PBA League, three points will determine our winner and our semifinalists. Stay with us.